Question. What are the functions of poetry according to Arnold? Answer. Arnold's views on poetry are primarily presented in his critical work The Study of Poetry, where he discusses the functions and role of poetry in society. Below are the key points regarding the functions of poetry according to Arnold. 1. Criticism of life. Arnold believed that poetry should engage with the fundamental aspects of human existence. Through the use of imagination and emotional expression, poets can delve into the complexities of life, exploring its joys, sorrows, and struggles. By addressing these universal themes, poetry offers readers insights into the human condition, providing a deeper understanding of themselves and others. 2. High Moral Purpose According to Arnold, poetry should not only entertain but also elevate and educate. He saw poetry as a means of conveying moral lessons and ethical values. By presenting virtuous characters and ethical dilemmas, poetry could inspire readers to lead better lives and make morally informed choices. 3. Cultural Critique As a cultural critic, Arnold saw poetry as a valuable medium for questioning and critiquing societal norms and institutions. Poets could challenge prevailing beliefs and expose societal shortcomings, fostering introspection and potentially driving positive change. 4. Conveying Ideas and Truths Arnold believed that poetry possessed a unique ability to convey complex ideas and truths. Through the use of metaphor, imagery, and symbolism, poets could express abstract concepts and emotions more powerfully than prose. This heightened language could evoke deep emotional responses and foster a stronger connection between the poet and the reader. 5. Excellence in Form and Style Arnold was a proponent of formalism in poetry. He valued adherence to traditional poetic forms and believed that strict rules and conventions provided structure and discipline to the poet's craft. He emphasized that a well-crafted poem would have a lasting impact on readers and be a testament to the poet's skill. 6. Emphasis on Artistic Detachment Arnold stressed the importance of poetic detachment, which means that poets should not be solely preoccupied with expressing their personal emotions and experiences. Instead, they should maintain a certain degree of objectivity allowing their work to transcend the individual and resonate with a broader audience. 7. Cultural Unification Arnold saw poetry as a unifying force that could transcend cultural boundaries. Through the universality of poetic themes and emotions, poetry could bring people together, fostering a sense of shared humanity and understanding among diverse populations. 8. Escapism and Pleasure while Arnold emphasized the moral and critical functions of poetry, he also recognized the need for aesthetic pleasure and escapism. He believed that poetry's beauty and linguistic artistry provided readers with moments of respite and enjoyment, making poetry an essential source of pleasure in people's lives. It's worth noting that Arnold's views on poetry were grounded in the context of the Victorian era which placed a strong emphasis on morality, social improvement, and cultural development. While his ideas have influenced literary criticism, some contemporary scholars may challenge the strict adherence to formalism and universal moral purpose. Advocating for a more diverse and inclusive understanding of poetry's functions in the modern world. Nevertheless, Arnold's contributions to the study of poetry continue to be significant and thought-provoking.